Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Not like that one needs ploughing, unfortunately. It could if it did, because that could... You know, an extra ploughing job. That could help us out. Right, where can I get into this field? It doesn't look like you get mulching jobs. I thought that you might have done. Okay, we want to go in here like this. And these fields, uh, well, these fields, this field is slightly odd shaped. Put that one there. You start on this side. It's not very oddly shaped, but it is slightly. So if I start there, like that, probably should actually cut a little bit of a headland for this one. He's going to be right out onto the road. Um, I think he's going to be all right, though. He should go all the way up through there without running out of field to plough on that side. Alright, I won't worry about that one anymore. I'm not going to sit with that one all the way up through there. It's going to take ages. And we've now got... There's two baling jobs. We've got field 15, which is the one just down here. And we've got field 1, which is much closer. Field 15 is a bigger field. And it gives us more bales as well. Field one up the top there. Fairly easy. Let's go with field 15. I can't see. This is what bugs me is I can't see whether or not we're being given a round baler or a square baler. If we were given a mow the grass dry. Oh, he wants hay with this one. This one's silage. But uh, so far all the silage jobs have been with a square baler. And not a round baler. I kind of like to do it with a round baler. I think that would be better. Um, plus two. Bale the grass and wrap it. That's going to be a baler and wrapper in one combo. Which makes me think that maybe it is round bales. And then we've got a round bale collector to go and take them through. So round bales actually are quicker to do. Let's, do, let's take this job. Let's take this job here. That's 562. We'll do field one first. We'll see what this one's like. Okay. We have actually followed that one, and he's going to go right to the end of the field. Okay, you carry on. You do what you need to do. You carry on and do what you need to do. Uh, we are 11 o'clock, and yes, it is a round baler. We'll be using the Pottinger Impress, the 185 VC Pro, which is a baler wrapper combo. Very, very nice. We're going to take this bad boy right here. We're at field one we're heading to for this. The other one, the other baling job, is actually for hay, which is a little bit more pricey. Now, when I did this before, everybody said that I was actually selling grass at the, um, the dealership and not silage. So we will check that. And I think you can check it. I think you just go up to the bale. Now, if we're making our own silage bales, it doesn't actually say silage, I don't think. As soon as you wrap them, I think it actually still says hay or it says grass or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but I've been told that silage, it doesn't turn to silage straight away. I wonder if it actually says in the instruction manual. We've got an instruction manual here with the game. Let's see, uh, grass, cut the mowers, usually attached to a tractor, uh, or wrapping it into a silage bale. Let it ferment into silage. Uh, after grass is cut, make grass, hay, or straw collecting easier. Hay, if you don't, uh, you can sell, pressed into bales. Uh... When using bond silage in your forage wagon while collecting grass in your harvester, or in your harvester when cutting, the yield is increased by 5%. Oh, in your, yeah, right. So you get an additional 5% if you use the bond silage stuff. It doesn't say anything about leaving the grass for any length of time to turn it into silage. So we don't get a confirmation on that one, unfortunately. It would be nice to have a confirm. Well, I mean, I think once the bale is on the ground, we can just walk up to it and have a look at it, and it will tell us for certain one way or the other whether it is uh, silage or hay, uh, or grass, rather. And then we can see how much. But the amount of money that we got from them when we sold those bales at the dealership last time, I would be genuinely surprised if that was 
pay. Like, the, the amount of money that was coming from that made me think that it had to be silent, surely, because, like, the, surely there's no way that that was actually hay. I, I, I can't see it. Right, the train is actually on its way, so we're just going to skip across there, and I want to see how long it takes the train to get here. i just seen it up there. I'm sure it, yeah, I can see it on the, on the mini-map now. Uh, I was hoping that the... Yes! Look! <laughs> the car got hit by the train. I've never actually seen that happen before. I've never actually seen it come down. I've always wondered what would happen if it went down onto the car like that. And the car parked in the middle of the tracks and the train went right through it. That's a historical moment there, ladies and gentlemen. The car was actually hit. I was hoping for something a little bit more dramatic than them just kind of sitting there enjoying a cup of tea while they watch the train go through the bonnet of their car. But there we go. Can't win them all. Apparently drama is not something that is going to be happening this time. All right, we want to go in here so we can turn off all of these beacons and, and everything else. And it's down the end. So this one is going to be nice and easy. I don't even need to use the rake because we've got this beautiful crone machine. I can simply use this instead of laying it out on the ground and then raking it up with that rake that we've got. We simply use this one. I mean, we were able to do the same with the last baling job with the tractor because the set of mowers that we had also did the same. Uh, this crone mower will leave it all into a windrow for us and then we can skip out a step, which is good because that saves us money. It's less that we've got to pay out in wages. And we're down to 18,000 at the moment. We need to keep an eye on that money coming through. Right then, let's unfold this bad boy. I haven't used this one yet in FS22. I used to use it quite a bit in FS19, like this one. Uh, so we've got, it's usually control, yeah, control Y to toggle the work mode. So at the moment, it's dumping everything out on the ground. That is putting it into a windrow in the middle. That is putting the stuff on the left into the middle and then leaving the one on the right open. And that's doing the exact opposite and then spreading full width again. So we're going to do that option right there. Fire that bad boy up. It lists it. I love the way that it does that. When you shut it off, it doesn't lower it. You've actually got to fold it back up again, and then it lowers it back down. So I unfold it like this, and it only does that there. And then when I fire it up, he lifts the wheels up into the air. And then we can lower it down. Oh. Separately. Did it do it separately before? I don't really know. So I got a nice bit of extra width on the field down this side. It will tell us if we go too far over the boundary. It doesn't like it. So it, it will notify us that we're being a little bit too greedy. But apparently it is okay with our greed so far. Oh, I like this. This is a lot of extra grass that we're getting for this job. It is only April, but... Well, if they want April silage, then we will give them April silage. I am a long way out of the edge of this field, and it's still gathering it up. I like this a lot. I don't know if it's going to keep going for us. It is at the moment. I'll do twice around the outside edge of the field, and then when I've done that... Right, this bit, I think, is probably not going to go over quite so easy. Bring it back a little bit like that. And I will go through like this. So I'm going to just have the edge of the mower down the edge of the track like that. Because that should get us a, it's a, a lot of extra grass all the way around. Which is extra bales on top of what we would normally produce. But we know that these contracts do pay an excessive amount. I did say before I didn't want to do another one because of how unrealistic they are. But I also kind of want to move the series along. We don't want to be stuck just doing thousands of contracts to try and raise the money we need for being able to do any silage and advance or progress any further. So we, we kind of like 
it's it's all about achieving balance. That's that's what I'm I'm trying to just achieve some balance here. Uh, let me drop that one down there, and that one in there. So I'll do a second pass around the outside edge here, and then we can start working on the main part of the field. Putting that down. So I'm going to leave that bit. Otherwise, isn't it? You know, you can actually drop your your, your mower decks down. I'm, I'm not going to complain about that. I'm not going to get upset. Right. Go here and on up through here. Just as I can get that top pass up there, and then I can leave the hired help. And while the hired help finishes off the mowing, we can go and get the baler, and we can immediately get started on here. Now, it was pointed out that on the last contract, I only put something like three bales into the um, point for completing the contract, and that was it. That was all I needed to put in. So I won't take very many with the first run on the Anderson bale loader. We'll just put we'll put four bales on. I suspect it'll need four, and we will do those but I mean it depends what size bales it, it I don't think it actually says what size bales we need and we can alter the bales and have them any size we want Let's bring you over this way at least I think we can we'll find out in a minute actually let's just have a look here and double check that we don't have a particular size bale that we're supposed to do baling active bale the grass and wrap it to make silage bales and take them to the animal dealer it doesn't actually give us any particular size bale that we're supposed to do I'm going to set the hired help going on there. And there we have our crone mower whizzing up and down the field. We're going to go and get the baler and we're going to start having a bit of fun with that one. Let's need a drink. Oh, wow. Colour me impressed. It picked up the front one. This was always a real issue for me with the crone mower was the timing and the way that it picked up at the end of the row. So you always had bits left, so if you set the hired help doing it, you then had to go around and pick up all of the, the messy bits at the end. But it just did those two tidily. Whether it will continue to do that remains to be seen. But we don't need to worry about it at the moment. So we can leave that rake right where it is. We don't need to touch that one at all. And we will go and take this Pottinger Impress Baylor. Now that is, I mean, it says 4,000 litres on there, but that's not the bit that we want to look at. Change bale size. Currently on 125 centimetres. Goes up to 150. It does actually go to 180, but I don't think it will do silage at 180. 125. Let's have a look in here and just double check the capabilities of the baler that we have now got. So it's this one right here. 125 up to 180, 125 to 150 if they're wrapped. So we can go 150, 150 centimeters on the bale. If we do that, it won't wrap it. It'll still produce the bale, but it'll only do hay with that. Whereas that one and that one, the 125 and 150, it will still, it will do those bales. And it'll do those bales just fine. Um, and then it'll, it'll wrap them as well. So... That's consistent with other things. The actual separate bale wrapper in the game, that one doesn't take the 180 centimeter bales. You can only wrap up to 150 centimeter bales. And so it's, it's kind of consistent across the board with the size of bales that you can turn into silage bales and ones that you can only have as hay or straw. Um, now, it says 4,000 litres. 4,000 litres is the bale for 125 centimetres across. As soon as I actually start baling, the litre capacity of the bale there at the bottom will change from 4,000 to, I think, 5,500 um, at the 150 centimetre bales. It does actually change according to the crop that you're baling as well. If I was to bale a large bale with grass it would be a 7,000 litre bale 
If I did it with hay, it goes to 9,000 litres. And I think it will do the same with 150. We'd have to test that. I haven't tested it myself. But the only time I've changed the litre capacity and then I've changed the crop, it did, like, the, it did weird things. Um, so it changed, like, down from 9, from 9,000 down to 7,000 on grass. And then uh, it finished the big bale that it had started already. And then it changed again and did it to a smaller bale capacity of uh, 5,000 litres on grass. So I've, I've no idea what it will be if we did hay. Absolutely no idea at all. Let's... Uh, do I need to unfold anything with this one? Nope. No unfold options. Fire it up. Lower down the pickup. And boom. 5,500 because of the capacity that we have chosen. So we go running along here like this. This one doesn't appear to have any pre-compression chamber or anything like that. So it's not a continuous feed baler. Which means that we do have to stop every time we want to make a bale. Um, so we stop there and then the bale is moved out onto the back bit. And then that is wrapped while we go along and we bale up more grass. Which I really like. From what I can see there, the rest of that field... Now, we've also got... We, we'd need to unload this bale ourselves. Let's just go quickly and check on these. This one is doing really well. Because of the really long runs, this is going to get through this job in no time at all. And then this one here is a little bit slower getting across the field, but he's doing a pretty good job. And I want to go to you start you up fire you up and lower you down and just take out that last little bit I'm going to make the assumption that everything at the top end is fine and that we don't need to do anything with it so we'll lift that one up and we will bring the baler the, the baler the the crone big M over this side fold everything up tuck it away job done and leave it there right now you we head on down the run, and as we go, we can dump the bale out like that. So just press Y, and it tips it out. If you're on a keyboard, that is. I don't know what the buttons are. If you're on a console, I have no idea. I'm not even going to pretend to know. I mean, some people are on PC and still use a controller. I can't do that. I've, like, I've, I've tried using a controller to steer the tracks and that. I've uh, tried because uh, my... Sun's got one of the Farming Simulator games on Xbox, I think it was. And so I did try to, like, drive the tractors around and stuff using the control pad and, and the, the, the Xbox controller. I didn't like it at all. Did not like it at all. Really didn't get on with that. Definitely was not a fan of the whole controller thing. Um, I, I, I just couldn't do it. So, I mean, I've used plenty of controllers before for different things, but driving the tractor and that, it, it just didn't... I just didn't get on with it. Don't really know why. But anyway, not that it really matters, because uh, I don't use it normally anyway. Um, I'm just curious. Those of you who play Farming Simulator... Well... Like, I know that some of you do play it on consoles, so I'm assuming that um, those of you who play it on consoles, you get on fairly well with using the um, console controller. But what about the PC players? Do any of you use a gamepad of some kind, some kind of controller that you plug into your PC and use that rather than a steering wheel or other option? Right, I've got a lot of bits of grass here everywhere. I'm going to put that bale over there so he's out of the way. Like that. And then we'll just sort of gather up these bits. Like this. Bit of a mess. This is where we were shunting around quite a bit with the um, mower anyway. Pop that one out onto there. I do love the way that it transitions the bale there. It, I think it looks quite cool the way it does that. Now we can come on down here, and we've got a beautiful image right there of that one working. Look at that. I don't know if that's actually going to end up being a screenshot or not. 
might decide to use the mower instead, but, um, well, it's nice to have options, isn't it? I can't have all of my screenshots of the Hardcore series of sheep looking at us from the sheep pen. Let's, uh... Right, this... I'm, I'm sort of looking at the... but Well, actually, because I'm, like, looking at it from the side, it's a little bit difficult to properly keep the, the wheels on the right track there. Um, I keep forgetting to unload the bale. I'm definitely glad that I'm doing this with the bigger bale option. I think I would struggle a little... Oop, okay. <laughs> we shouldn't have done that. That's how, that's how to destroy your 100,000 euro... Baylor very very quickly doing something like that right if I back all the way up here a minute so that we can dump that bale off out of the way and put that one up there there's another little bit of a mess of grass just here that we want to tidy up uh, bits there and bits there and so on not that I think it's gonna... if we need to grab like a 10 litre bit we could always come back and grab that later round we're down to 800 euros in money so the two plowmen are slowly eating up the money but i mean we had about 2000 is it 2500 we had there I'm not entirely sure something along those lines i think roughly 2500 liters at uh, liters roughly 2500 euros for paying their wages that's what we did have. And now we've got 700, so close to two grand has been spent on wages. Uh, we'll do this as... We end up being two separate lots if we can. And you up here. I don't know how long this is going to take to do this particular job. It shouldn't be too bad, actually, I think. I'm seriously considering getting one of these balers. Maybe we could save up and get one of these balers instead. I'm only downside to that is that we would need a fairly powerful tractor to run it and I'm not sure that the tractor we've got would be up to actually running this particular baler which would be it's a little bit disappointing it would be nice if it could but we have got fairly steep ground there I know that the fields that we do have are cut they're all right but I still think that tractor would struggle we might get away with running the baler only downhill. And that is something that we could do. I know people who have actually farmed like that, uh, done certain jobs where they've only run the tractor going downhill in order to be able to get their machine to actually run because the tractor just wasn't able to pull the... I, you know, I can't remember what they, it was baling they, they, they would they were doing some baling um, and the tractor couldn't get the baler to go up the hill and it wasn't their own land or anything like that this was uh, I was working for a contractor and the land that we were working on was exceptionally steep and the it wasn't so much that the tractor didn't have the horsepower to pull the baler up the hill it just wouldn't grip it wouldn't grip at all so what he ended up having to do was drive around the side of the field go up the side like towards the edge of the field where it was slightly less steep and i say slightly lightly um it, it was still only just able to scramble up the hill and then he'd get up the hill up that side with the tractor and then drive along the top and then drive down with the baler going pushing <laughs> pushing him down the hill um, and making the bales. It was the only way he could do it. He couldn't actually pull the baler up the hill without the wheels spinning. Um, he said that he was quite grateful, though, because several other fields in the area, they had a combine, it was a hillsider, and so most of the other fields, the combine had been going sideways across the hill rather than up and down the hill because it's safe for the combine to do that, the, the hillsider. It sort of levels everything out. Um, but, yeah, it was, he said, terrifying was the first word that sprung to mind. And um, it's, it, 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 he reckoned that uh, trying to drive the tractor sideways across the hill 
to do that bailing was an experience that was going to haunt him for many years to come. And I'm the, I had to go and pick up the bales using a telehandler. So I, I was going in there afterwards, and so I seen the fields firsthand. I seen it all. And the one field where he was driving up and down the hill was not so much fun for me with the telehandler picking them up because I like the bales were all facing up and down the hill I mean well he wasn't actually driving up and down the hill was he he was um he was only driving down the hill he did at least have a run out bit at the bottom which was fortunate for him he said because there were like on the really really steep bits it like the the, the tractor did kind of pick up a fair bit of speed um he was just grateful that it didn't break any shear bolts because of how fast he was rushing down the hill it was a bit dangerous it was a bit dangerous, and to be honest, we weren't quite sure why they didn't just chop that field rather than doing it like that, because if it was so steep that they decided the combine should drive up and down and not go sideways. No, I, d I don't really know what was going on. I don't know whether the hillside or it was too steep for the hillside of combine to go sideways across the hill, and so up and down was the only safe option, or whether they just went up and down because... I have no idea. I, I really don't. I, I don't know why they did... I don't know why they went up and down in that field and then the other fields they went across the hill. I, I, that bit, I, I really don't know. I've got no idea. But I do remember the other bales were fairly easy to pick up. I could only pick up two, maybe three bales. And normally when I was working, I would be picking up four bales at once on the fork. So I go and I gather up four bales and then I go and put them into a, um, a stack and then I go and get another four bales and put them into um, like just just keep going there with four at a time. The steep ground, um, so long as I stayed straight up and down the hill uh, with the loader low to the ground, I was all right driving around. I could go two bales high. As soon as I started to go more than that... Um, yeah, you, you could feel the machine wanting to lean over a bit. You, you could definitely feel the, the actual machine itself starting to, like, it, it wasn't trying to tip over, but you could feel it leaning a bit. And, you know, if, if you were to drive quickly or something like that, or, or just sort of turn a little bit too much um, with those three bales on your fork, then trouble would happen. So, yeah, I had to be careful. It, you, you, you wouldn't, it's not the kind of hill that you would go fooling around on. You definitely wouldn't be doing that. And I, I actually quite enjoyed it, though. I Like, the, the guy running the baler, he, he didn't enjoy it at all. Um, driving us up and down. He, he But he grew up in an area that was fairly flat. I grew up in an area that had a lot of hills, so I'd already had a bit of experience driving on hills. And I always liked the challenge of it. Although I can't say I really have wanted to be driving the tractor and baler across the side of some of those hills where I was picking up the bales because that seemed terrifying. Um, but the loader, because the baler had been driving across the hills, all the bales were facing... Oops, I need to do that. All the bales were facing the right way for me, which made it a lot easier. And so I just, like, drive straight up the hill and then all the bales are facing the right way. It's really easy to go and pick them all up. Um... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.